HBO's anticipated The Last of Us series is going to be hitting our screens on January 16th. From the early reviews we've been getting, it seems like this is one of the shows that's definitely going to leave its mark on viewers. Whether you're someone who's played the original games or a new viewer not familiar with the franchise, you'll probably want a rundown of everything to know before watching the series. So here it is. First off, the TV series is based on a video game. The upcoming Last of Us series from HBO is based on a 2013 video game with the same name. It was released back on PlayStation 3 and since then has become one of the most critically acclaimed games of all time. It basically launched Naughty Dog, its developer, into stardom and has even gotten re-released and mastered for next-gen consoles and PC. News of the live-action adaptation was revealed to us back in March 2020, and the game's original director and writer Neil Druckmann served as a writer and executive producer. If you're not super into video games, you have heard that this is a video game adaptation and may already be tuning out, but rest assured this is definitely worth giving it a watch. The Last of Us from 2013 is famous not just for its gameplay and graphics, but also for its story. The video game is said to have a unique story that truly manages to keep its viewers at the edge of their seats. It was a tale that just seemed perfect for a TV show adaptation, and with the original writer and director working on it, there's no doubt that the story is going to be just as amazing, if not better than the games. The game succeeds in producing a sense of tension and sadness that even films and TV shows fail to do. It would be fair to say that the story and its characters aren't just some of the best we've seen in gaming, but in any medium, period. Next up, what's the plot of the series about? The plot of the game essentially takes place in a post-apocalyptic world. It mainly revolves around Joel, a smuggler who's gone through some really difficult things during his life. There's also Ellie, a girl who's been supposed to deliver to a bunch of revolutionaries that call themselves the Fireflies. The game tells us quite early on that Ellie is immune to the virus that has led the world into a state of of destruction, and the reason why Joel and Ellie is to take her to the Fireflies so that they can use her to create a cure for everyone. We don't know the exact details of the TV show since the team at HBO has kept things under a tight lid, but it's clear from the promotional material and trailers that many of the main plot elements from the games will directly be making their way into the TV show. Neil even stated that one part of the game should equal about a season of the show, so it's possible that the first season of the show will entirely cover the first game, with the second second one covering the plot of the sequel. That said, considering the differences in the video game and television format, it's all but confirmed that they'll have to make a few changes here and there to the plot and characters. Considering how much of a masterpiece the story of the original game already is, we're sure this will be minor stuff and nothing too significant. Plus, is this just another zombie story? At this point, we're sure just about everyone's tired of zombies. The concept has pretty much been done to death, and while the original game did come out at a time when the zombie craze was very much prominent, nowadays it seems like the genre has run out of steam. So, is it possible that the TV show won't really do as well as the games did just because the subject matter isn't as relevant? Well, not quite. The thing is that the zombies in The Last of Us have a bit of a unique element to them. Unlike some usual virus that randomly erupts from somewhere and causes people to gain a hunger for flesh, in The Last of Us, the origin of the virus is fairly well explained. It stems from real-life fungi in the genus Cordyceps. Steps. Due to a mutation, this virus begins to affect people, causing them to become half-fungi, half-human-type monstrosities that go after other people. And of course, the game doesn't refer to them as zombies either. Instead, they're called clickers, mostly because of the scary clicking sound they make anytime they do something. Their fungal origins also help to make them feel a bit different from your usual zombie. Their faces are filled with weird-looking mushroom-type platforms, and these grow inside of trees, which makes them look extra icky. Not to mention, the look of the zombies isn't the only thing that makes The Last of Us stand out. You may be wondering, alright, sure, instead of blood-drenched zombies, this series has fungal zombies. Is that really enough to make such a huge fuss about? Of course not. But luckily, The Last of Us has tons of other elements that make it stand out from your typical zombie outing. The movie isn't some kind of shoot-up-the-horde type flick that you might have in mind. It's no World War Z, and especially not anything close to Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. You won't find invincible characters taking down hordes after hordes of zombies that seem 
less like threats and more like target dummies and bullet sponges. Instead, every single clicker is seen as a threat in The Last of Us, and the entire story is more about its character and their journeys in this terrible post-apocalyptic world. The game is mostly famous because of just how great the characters are, especially the relationship between Joel and Ellie. If you're someone who values a great story, especially one with characters whose dynamics pull on your heartstrings, then this is a show that's definitely going to be a worthy consideration. If you're a fan of the game, and have played them through, especially the sequel, then you'll know exactly what we're talking about. This isn't a story that's going to be forgettable. It definitely leaves its mark on the viewer and we're sure many people will be attached to the cast from the very first episode. We should also highlight Druckmann tried to adapt this story before. While this is the first time we're actually getting a live-action adaptation of The Last of Us, the truth is that there was a previous movie adaptation too, but it never got made. At some point in 2014, the game's director and writer Neil Druckmann was apparently involved with a horror movie adaptation of The Last of Us, and it was apparently being directed by none other than the king of horror, Sam Raimi. The reason why the project apparently failed was that the studio wanted a big-budget blockbuster like World War Z, but Neil wanted something closer to the games which definitely feel like more story-oriented indie films. From the looks of the new trailer HBO has dropped from the upcoming series, it's clear that it's that sort of style that will be present in the TV show adaptation. It's nice to see that Neil stuck to his guns and didn't let a studio completely change the face of his franchise. They likely would have turned it into yet another generic zombie movie, which is completely not the point of The Last of Us. It's also amazing to see HBO and similar streaming platforms finally having a bit more faith in gaming franchises and letting their original directors tell the stories they want. With how many horror stories we've heard when it comes to the production of video game movies, it's nice to see that the trend is finally changing for the better. Up next, how much of the games will the series cover? As we talked about earlier, the game has two parts, and it's likely that fans will have to wait for a second season before they can see details from the sequel. The first season is set to mostly cover the first season, but it's clear that a second season is definitely on their minds. So we could be seeing the plot elements of the sequel game making their way onto the screens at some point in the future, as heartbreaking as they are. It's good that they're not trying to cram both of the games into a single season. There are already tons of content to cover in the first game alone, and doing both at the same time would have been a recipe for disaster. Neil has also clarified that they aren't going to cover any details from the games beyond what we already know, so it seems that we shouldn't expect to get any story details beyond what was covered in the 2020 sequel. The show is expected to come out on January 16th on HBO Max. Depending on when you're watching this video, it's probably already out, so if we've convinced you enough, you may want to give it a watch soon. Finally, The Last of Us won't break the video game curse because it's already broken. Many people have their I said on The Last of Us to be the series that finally breaks the video game curse. For those unaware, this is essentially a long-standing theory among video game fans that big screen adaptations of their favorite gaming franchises are doomed to fail. To be fair, Hollywood has generally not done much to provide fans wrong in this regard. Though, with just how good The Last of Us looks, many think that this is the series that will free us from this curse. Even Neil has said that he hopes that the series will put the video game curse to bed. But we can't help but feel like the curse has already been banished. Taking a look at all the amazing video game adaptations we've seen recently makes this more than clear. Castlevania, The Witcher, and Sonic and the Hedgehog are just a few of the examples, and don't worry, we've got tons more. Arcane, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, and the upcoming Super Mario Bros. movie that looks amazing. All of these are video game adaptations that have been huge hits among fans and critics, so it's possible that The Last of Us is trying to dispel something that was already dealt with a long time ago. Either way, we hope the series does well so that it paves the way for more video game franchises coming to our screens in the future. Well, that's a wrap for this video, so what are your thoughts on the Last of Us series? Comment down below, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And we'll see you in the next one.